In this video, we are going to learn how we can download a data set from UCI Machine Learning Repository. First of all, you have to go to google.com. In google.com, you have to type UCI Machine Learning Repository. You will see the first option here. You have to click here. Once you come here, you have to click on the data sets. Click here. Here we are going to download one of the very famous data set, Iris data set. We have to find that. We have to scroll down. And here you can see that. The Iris data set is present here. You have to click here on this name Iris. Once you come on this page, you will see data folder, data set description. You will see the characteristic of the data set. It is a multivariate attributes, characteristic, associated task, classification. How many missing values are there? There are no missing values. Total number of attributes are four. Number of instances, that is total number of observations are 150. And this is the date of donation when this data was donated. And if you scroll down, you will see the column names are here. These are the attributes name, sepal length in centimeters, sepal width in centimeter, petal length, petal width, and class. We have to download this data set directly using pandas. You have to click here on this data folder here. Here you will see that there is an option of iris data. You can see the data set name is here iris.data. To download this data using pandas, you have to first open your Jupyter Notebook. I have already opened my Jupyter Notebook. First, we have to import pandas as pd. Now I'm going to make one variable where I will store the data set. I will name that variable df. And from pandas, we have to call the function pd.readcsv pd.readcsv and in this we have to copy this path we have to click here copy this and in single quotes or double quotes we have to paste it here and after this we also have to paste the data name and our data set name is here iris.data we have to copy this name copy and paste it here now we are going to run this code we have successfully imported the data let's look at the data set we will call the method df.head here we can see the data set has been loaded successfully these are the columns one two three four and five there are total five columns but one thing you will notice that the column names are missing here because in our data set here in this iris.data there are no column names we have only rows here to get the column names we have to go to the website and here we will go to the home page if you scroll down here you will see the column names are present here there are total five columns and in our data set also we have seen that there are five rows we have to copy this column names and paste in our pd.readcsv function so these are the column names sepal length sepal width petal length petal width and class you have to go there and after this data you have to put a comma press enter and we have to pass one parameter names And in this, we have to pass our column names in double quotes or single quotes. Let's look at the column names. The column names are sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width, and class. Let's start writing. First is sepal length. Second is sepal width. Third is petal length. Fourth is petal width. 
and last one is class. Now I'm going to ru run again this code. Press Shift plus Enter. I have to type S here. It is names, not name. I'm sorry for the mistake. Now I will run again this code. It has been successfully run. And now I'm going to run this df.head method. Here in the output, you can see that we have a very nice data frame with column names as well as the rows. We can also look at the bottom five rows. We have to type df.tail. And this will give us bottom five rows. In the head, we have rows from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. These are the top five rows. And when we call the function tail, we get bottom five rows. 145, 146, 147, 148, and 149. We can check how many rows and columns are there using the method shape. We will say df.shape. In the output, we can see that there are total 150 rows and five columns. This is how you can download any data set from UCI Machine Learning Repository directly on your Jupyter Notebook using Pandas library. You can download other data set and if you face any problem, you can write down in the comment section and I will reply to your comment and I will help you download the data set. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.